Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with Ice Lakes and I want to announce there is a really, really big update that they just added today. Or, well, at least I got it today, but they have added the China update, guys. This means a lot of new additions. We've got two new maps, we've got three new species of fish, and we've got some more gear and another uh, tournament that you can take place in these uh, locations. But let me go ahead and real quick here show you the first of the, or the new species they uh, they have added. We've got the big head carp, and these fish are going to be big. A lot of them can get really really big. Like we've got 40 kilograms, 88 pounds. Koi. Now these are kind of rare apparently. This is typically met only in garden ponds and is rare in natural environments. But they can get up to 66 pounds or 30 kilograms. And guess what? The good old common carp. This is going to probably beat out, or at least give the uh, barracuda a run for its money. So we have got the common carp in here, guys. That means some big fish. We've got common carp, koi, and big head carp. All right. And as far as equipment, apparently the main thing that they've added have been new rods. So we're going to go take a look real quick here what they've changed here. Let's check a look here. Ooh, look at these. We've got the medium steampunk. It's based after that steampunk uh, theme. Uh, the heavy golden phoenix, the uh, ultralight retro, and a medium mountain king, and a heavy bamboo, I guess, for the, uh, you know, for the theme, basically. So a lot of this stuff is theme-based. I don't know if they've added any new uh, gear, but we're going to take a quick look here to see. Uh, not really seeing anything that looks new, but I'm sure some of these are going to work with the uh, newer species. And as far as bait goes, looks like that has pretty much stayed the same. I mean, I'm literally looking at this for the first time, guys, so what you see is what I'm seeing for the first time is what you're seeing for the first time. All right, and let's go ahead and take a quick look here. These are the new tournaments that uh, I don't know if everybody's seen the uh, last one I did, which was the Impatient Fisherman, but they had also recently added the Tampir Finnish Lakeland and now the Rising Dragon tournaments. So if you want to take part in a really long tournament, that's you know pretty involved. But it looks like for the Rising Dragon, they're for the most part pretty short. 15, 30, 30, and 15, so that's not that bad, honestly. Yeah, some of them can get quite long. 45 minutes or more. Alright, guys, I tell you what. Let's do this. I don't really know what to fish with for these guys just yet, but I'm going to try to apply some of my knowledge, at least for the common carp, because I'm familiar with them. But we're mainly going to take a look at the uh, locations, so we're going to do some free fishing. We're not going to actually take part in a tournament, because I kind of want to take in the sites, let you look at the maps a little bit, because my understanding is they're they're actually very pretty. So let's keep it noon so we can see real well, and let's go ahead and go in here, take a look around. All right, let me see here, guys. Oh, cool. Check that out. Looks like we got a Chinese castle over here. Oh, this is cool. I wish you could go in the darn things. <laughs> got you a dragon. And those fancy lights. Here's a little bitty, little bitty house. Yeah, this is really, really cool. They've paid a lot of attention to detail here, and I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, ambience and aesthetics is everything. Even 
if it's just fishing guys and it looks like there's different locations of the lake itself so you've got this upper lake here sorry about that my dog is squeaking its toy <laughs> Looks like we've got a little gazebo over here. Wow, this is really cool. I like it. I like it. Yeah, right around here might be a good place for some carp. I'm looking for like weeds and stuff like that. Now, how do I get to this lower area here? Well, I don't think that's it. I guess you have to go over here. Ooh, that could get tricky when you're in a hurry. So if you want to go down to the lower area, you've got to go down this way. Ooh, that's a trick. But I tell you, this is probably where you're going to find your koi. If you're going to find them anywhere. <clears throat> See, right here. Here's where you're going to find them. Right in this stuff. I betcha betcha right in this good stuff right here yeah this looks like a place where I might find koi definitely find carp oh this is awesome got a little waterfall here Yeah, if you're going to come down here, though, let's take a look at the map. Yeah, there's really no way out except to go all the way back around. So once you're down here, you're kind of down here. And see, here's the starting gate way over here. So, if, you know, you might want to, even though this might have some good fish, kind of take it in stride. All right, this is this is seriously awesome. I like it. I wonder if you can get there. Yeah, you might be able to get here quicker this way. Yeah, see, this is another path. Okay. I like it. I like this a lot, guys. This is really, really nice. Alright, we're going to go ahead and exit this map here real quick. And we're going to take a look at the other one. Now this is called the Great Chinese Garden. So again, we'll put this at noon. We're going to do free fishing so we can just take a look around. And we're going to go ahead and go in and take a look. Wow. Oh, I like this. They have outdone themselves. Oh, I bet you you get koi right here. I bet you, bet you. I bet you could get koi right there. Oh, there's all kinds of good places for carp. Check this out. All kinds of good spots. Anytime you see those weeds, you got a good spot. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, I really like this, guys. I think they've outdone themselves on this map. They really have. Well, I'm a big fan of uh, of Chinese culture, and my mother raised me with it because she is she would actually she honest to God wants to be uh, buried in a kimono. <laughs> That's how much she likes it. She loves. Anything having to do with China or Japan. But yeah, this is really, really nice looking. I like it. Okay, how do you get up here now? Okay, I see. Here's the little fish guy. And what's over here? What's over here? Yeah, this is pretty darn nifty. So this kind of goes all the way around like a little village or circling the entire thing. Yeah, you can't just walk off there. 
So if you're up here, you're stuck up there. Unless you can find another way. Let's see here. Can I go up here? Yep, I sure can. All the way up here. And this is another location. It's like the upper... The upper lake or whatever. Yeah, this is cool, guys. Oh, there's the... There's the waterfall. Looks more like a steam fall. I guess it's so cold. Yeah, I like this, guys. I am really, really happy with these, with these new maps. Ah, can't go that way. Yeah, you definitely have your boundaries. So... All right, guys, i tell you what. We have taken a good quick look. I'm gonna take a quick look at the map, overhead map here. Yeah, it looks like there's a little lake up here, which is where I was walking around. I'm right over here. There's a little lake area over here, and there's the big one here. So there's lots of places to fish, lots of places to explore. We're going to go ahead and quit the game for now. And I think I'm going to go back to the Dragon Mountains. It's a little simpler. And I'll tell you what. Let's just... Let's do a little free fishing. Still a little free fishing. We're going to do... We're going to do winter and evening. Because that seems to be a good time for carp. And that's what we're focused on. Now there are other things here too, mind you. Apparently there are largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, sturgeon. So there's a lot of things that you can fish for. No shortage of critters. But I tell you, I think I want to go down here because this area down here looks like a really good spot get some carp yeah I know I usually go ahead and do competitions but I want to just kind of get a look-see here first before we take the next step but I think the location I want to try first is probably right over here all right let's take a drill Now these guys are at all depths, so I'm going to take a look at what I have and see if any of them... Now we've got Crucian Carp. Yeah, I might not have anything that is specific to them, I don't know. Nope, I got a Silver Bite and it's good for Common Carp. I know that's good for largemouth bass, which this could be a good area for that. Black bullheads are here as well, but I'm not in a location where the black bullheads will be. Any one of these looks like they might do all right, but the fisherman's friend was it? No, it was silver bite. That's the common carp one. see what we got here we got brown does and I bet you let's see bluegill trout jam golden balls I don't think it really matters I'm gonna go with that because they like bread dough and we'll see if that doesn't attract them now this may not be big enough so could be taking a bit of a risk here. Probably going to need to switch over to a heavy rod. All 
Alright, we got something. It's not big. It is a largemouth bass. Very nice. Well, since we're going for largemouth bass and they seem to be right here, let's take a largemouth bass lure. Let's see if we can't catch a few more. Yeah, and some of the other ones, the largemouth bass, are not the easiest things to catch. And the smallmouths are really, really rare. I mean, they are there, but they're just rare. You'll find a lot of largemouth bass in the weeds too, and that's why I came here. Because I was hoping to get both largemouth and carp. I might try in the deep areas just to see. Because if there are sturgeon in here, that may be where they are. There we go. I think we might have another largemouth bass. Let's see. Oh, nice black bullhead. Nice black bullhead. All right, that looks pretty cool. I think I'm going to move over to the deep water. I'm going to take a quick glance here at the map. Let's see, what do we got here? So we got a headwaters over here and deep area over here. And of course there's deep at the upper upper lake. So I'll tell you what, let's come over here and fish deep right here. We're going to need to change our rods cuz 125 feet deep here. This is a deep lake. Just want to see what's lurking in the depths. <laughs> All right, what lure should I use, guys? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I've got. I don't know if there are any Xander here. I don't really know, but. Let's try the silver bite again. We'll try for common carp. Not that they won't bite. And let's switch this rod over to my heavy technical. Now we're now we're rocking. Let's see what about these hooks. Meteor, Crucian Carp, Africa, Depression Carp, Green Bomber, Dotsy. I don't think it really matters. Well, it's looking to me like the Yellow Submarine might be the best choice for this. Granted, it's not common carp, it's crucian carp, but they are carp and they're in the same family. So maybe. We're gonna go deep. Deep, deep, deep. See what kind of things are lurking in the depths below. Whoa! Okay. This is a big fish. This is a big fish, guys. I think 
this might be one of our new fellas. Wow, this is a big fish, and he is giving me a fight. Whoa! Nice common carp! Nice common carp. 11.12 pounds. There they are, guys. So they're deep. That's good to know. Let's give it another try here real quick. Yeah, we're gonna have to give it a little try in different places, find out where the big head carp are. As I said, the koi are rare, but I have a feeling they're gonna be in the smaller ponds. A little more shallow areas. Alright, this isn't as big. Not sure what this is. It might be a smaller carp. Nope, it's a big head. Awesome. Little bitty big head. Apparently they come a lot bigger than that. But it is still a big head. So there's two of the new species. Yeah, when I found out that they were putting a new update, I just got all... <laughs> I didn't even, I have not even looked, like I said, looked at this yet. I wasn't even expecting it. So, I will be sure to take a look next time at the other one a little bit more thorough, like I'm doing here. And then we'll start doing some tournaments. Actually, we might even do one of the big tournaments, since they're shorter. All right, let's see what we got here. Another common carp. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pull this. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over here to this See, it's like real deep right here, and I'm kind of curious what could be right here, as deep as it is. Because it's like a channel. This could be a good place for sturgeon, for all, for all I know. Throw a little bit of those in there. And let's see what is lurking in the depths. Yeah, see how deep it is right here? This is like maybe 20 feet across. It's almost 125 feet deep. Now that is quite the channel. Whoa! There you go. There you go, guys. Ooh, this is a big fish. This is a big fish, guys. He is big. He's one big fella. Come on. He's gonna take me a minute, guys. Sorry. Wow, look at that rod bend, and this is the heavy technic. It's no Mickey Mouse rod. Oh wow, he's going to be huge. Whoa! 27.26 pounds. There's our little... Well, he's not a little fella. Nice, nice fish. Let's do here one more time, and I think I'll go up to the upper lake and we'll call this an episode. 
But yeah, this is this is looking like it's going to be a lot of fun. I like carp fishing. Carp fishing is a lot of fun. I'm glad they added them. I mean, they had the Crucian and the Prussian. Damn, it's another big one. Okay, this must be Carp Central, guys. This must be Carp Central. Look at that rod bend. Jeez. This one might be bigger than that one was. Well, they said they can weigh over 100 pounds. Gee Louise, here we go. Oh, he's big. Nice. Alright guys, that that is some amazingly big fish, and it's making it pretty difficult for me to move just at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to try one more time here. I just got to see if there's anything bigger than that in there. Then we'll go up there, I promise. Yeah, this could get a lot of fun. This could get to be a lot of fun. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, this one is big, but he's not... He's not a little one, either. Not bad, 9.46. I mean, he isn't a monster like the other two, but he is nothing to sneeze at, that's for sure. Alright, as much as I don't want to, <laughs> I'm taking a little bit long there. Yeah, I would like to eventually go down there as well, but we don't have that much time. But I do want to go up to the main lake up here, because this is one of the bigger lakes. And I do want to see what's up in the depths of here if there's anything different if it's still common carp just what exactly are we dealing with here let me take a look at the map here I'm right here now let's go all the way over here to the big area let's check out the deep 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 all right we are almost in a smack dead middle here. There we go, that's good. Let's take a drill. This is as deep as it goes, guys. Let's see what kind of monsters lurk beneath. Seems like they don't really have a preference as to the movement style. I've been doing the up and down, and that's worked pretty good. Whoa! As you can see. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of waiting around here, I tell you that. Not much waiting. Nope, that's a big head carp and it's a monster. 10.27 pounds. So maybe this is where the big heads are. Awesome. Alright, we're going to do this one more time. We're going to call this an episode. 
I am pleased. I'm very, very pleased with these legs. This could be, I mean, this could get very addicting. Whoa! Very addicting. I mean, I'm literally pulling in one right after another. Yeah, the competitions are going to be very, very interesting. Nice. 7.78 pound big head carp. Well, there you have it, guys. Now, we haven't seen any koi yet, but my understanding is they're very rare. So, we might get to see one in a competition that we might take part in. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. I know I did. Oh, before we leave, I forgot. Let's go ahead and pull stakes here. Let's go find the fishmonger and sell our fish. Yeah, you, you can do that, you know. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a pretty good idea. Let's see, he's over here. I see him. I see him. Now what, would I, what do I get for all these carp? Wow! 911? Okay. Definitely doing some free fishing here, too. Yeah, that's some cash, guys. That is some serious cash. I like it. I like this, like this, like this very much. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with more of this in the very near future. So until then, I will see you later. Always remember, guys, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. Bye-bye.